Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another Teenager's Thoughts. And this Teenager's Thoughts video specifically is one that I think all teenagers should watch because it affects all teenagers, not just kids my age, 16 year olds, not just teenagers from the US. This is something that affects all high schoolers or people that are going into high school or even people that are going into college. Even if you're in France, India, Korea, Argentina, Colombia, I feel that all teenagers go through this. And that is that I recently realized that a big part of my day, out of those 24 hours, eight of them are negative. Eight of them, I'm doing something that I don't love or that I don't enjoy and that it has a negative effect on me. And that is school. And that is not counting the hours of studying and homework and all that school related stuff. I realize that school is such a negative place. Even though I am a good student and I really enjoy school, there are so many parts of it that really stress me out and that just have a negative effect on me. Either it's because I have a test and I'm stressing out about it or a teacher just gets mad at the whole class and just screams at everybody. Or maybe you're having problems with this friend that's in your classroom. And maybe specifically now in Florida, all of us in April and May, we're taking all of the big and important exams. And the school is putting so much pressure on their students to do good and to pass and to do well in the exams that it's so stressful. And even if you're not in the US, I know that kids in France, for example, right now they're stressing about the back that they have to do when they graduate high school. I know that kids in India and Japan and Korea, their school is really strict and that they have to study a lot, so they're always stressed. And in other parts of South America, it's the same. So it's not only for American high schoolers. And this used to really affect me. I remember that a couple months ago, but specifically a couple years ago, I would get so stressed. I would get so bitter after school. My mom would go pick me up and I would just keep on thinking about all the negative things that happened, you know, during those eight hours that I was in school. And I hated that. I stopped doing the things that I really loved. I stopped, you know, doing my hobbies. I stopped really enjoying my day-to-day -day life because of those eight hours that I kind of have to do. And I also realized that part of that, you know, of that negativity or that, you know, bad experience is unnecessary. I used to fight so much and kill myself to get all A's when I realized that for me nor my parents is it important for me to have all A's. I'd rather be happier and be able to do my hobbies, be able to see my friends, be able to kind of enjoy my life and have some A's and B's and, you know, not perfect grades just so I could be happy. So I set myself off in a journey to try and enjoy the other 16 hours of my day and to not let those eight hours be so negative. I didn't want my life to just be like all of my high school life until I'm 18 to be so negative. And I'm pretty sure if school affects me so negatively now, then it's going to be the same thing when I'm in college. And I didn't want that. So I wanted to find a way and to kind of train myself to not be so negative. So the first thing I did was to not allow the time that I am in school be so negative. So I started to think about it and I realized that most of the time, not all of the time, but most of the time that a teacher is mad at us or screams at us and that would make me feel, you know, sad or stressed or whatever, that would just make me feel not very happy is because maybe they're also stressed. They also have a lot of work. Maybe my principal is really pushing them and telling them that we have to have a good grade on our test. That's why she is then stressing us about it and telling us about it. And that maybe they're also having personal problems at home. 
So it's not always my fault. And I used to think it was. And I used to always like, you know, when a teacher would get mad, it would make me feel not very happy. So I learned to just kind of differentiate it. There are times where maybe my classroom did something bad. My classmates and I, we did something bad. So I should, you know, let it affect me so I could learn from it. But not all of the time. I also learned to say no. A lot of the times I would just say yes to everything. I would even accept extra work from a teacher just so the teacher would like me. But I can't do everything. I don't have a thousand hours in a day. I have 24 and already one third of it is going to school. So I also had to learn to say no to not all of my homework. I can't do all of it. I have eight classes and I feel like sometimes my teachers don't realize that I have eight classes. They think that their class is the only one. So I started to prioritize and to really think how I'm spending my day. So if I have really good grade in this class and I have homework for this one and for this class maybe have not so, such a good grade and I also have homework, I'm going to do this one first and maybe say no to the one that I have a good grade on to get a good grade on the other one. You know, I started to, you know, rethink how I do things. I also learned to kind of prioritize my hobbies and things that make me happy. School is, of course, super important, but so are other things, my mental health, my hobbies, and that type of stuff, which is why I recently got a membership at the gym. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time, but I never thought I had the time to do it. But how could I not have 45 to an hour and a half to just go to the gym every couple of days? Not every day, but once in a while, I should be able to go. So now that I prioritize that, I find that I do have time to do it. I also have time to be posting videos and to be filming videos and editing videos and thinking of videos every single week. So I'm prioritizing myself before other things. And the reason I am filming this video is because now that I stopped letting school affect me so much, I am much happier. I'm, I actually kind of enjoy going to school a lot more because it's not such a negative thing. When I come home from school now, I'm fine, I'm happy, I'm normal, you know? And I realized that now, like I told you guys with all of these exams, a lot of my friends are getting burned out. They're always so stressed, annoyed, so mad because of this, because of school, because of these exams, because of, you know, homework that's just piling up. So I just didn't want that to happen to you guys. Um, I know how bad it feels. I mean, I've gone through it. I've seen my friends are going through it as well. So just a reminder that it doesn't have to be like that and you don't have to let it affect you that way. And I would really like to know how you guys feel on this topic and let me know how it is maybe where you're from. Is it also kind of stressful for high school students? What do you do to cope with it? Just tell me about it in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.